I'm Abigail Bowen, and I'm here at Flying Axes, Nashville's new and exciting entertainment experience. Located just eight minutes from Belmont's campus, Flying Axes is the premier provider when it comes to axe throwing fun. General Manager Taryn Lytle sat down with me to talk about how Flying Axes got started. So the owners, uh, they were looking to bring something, a, a new experience that was fun and different to Louisville. And they heard about axe throwing in Canada, went up there, fell in love and then they brought it down to Louisville. In order to get started axe throwing, says Lytle, participants must sign up online and then go through a safety training session before they can start. So yeah, typically the customer will book ahead of time. Um, they'll come in, sign a waiver, uh, the, then they will be taken to a cage by a coach. The coaches will go over a short safety speech, which is our, our uh, number, one, number one thing here, safety. Uh, and then they will demonstrate how to throw, teach everybody how to throw, and then we have multiple um, games that we can play. Lytle says that while axe throwing requires some practice, it can be relaxing and fun for everyone involved. It's actually very therapeutic. Um, it is not about power at all. It's more about finesse. So uh, when, you, when you come in and you land that first bullseye, uh, there's, there's something like in the air immediately and everybody's just excited. It's a good time and you just have this feeling of accomplishment and then it's addictive. After talking to Lytle, it was my time to get throwing. So I met with one of the axe coaches, Cody Jeffcoat. Well, welcome to Flying Axes Nashville. My name's Cody. I'm going to be your coach today. First things first, um, we're going to go over safety, then we'll do technique. When I go over safety, I always start with the big two rules. Number one, don't touch the axe blade. Seems obvious enough. You see it all the time. They're sharp. They can cut you. We sharpen them daily. When you're not holding it, hold it right here at the base of the handle. Right. Or at the base of the head, we call it positive control. Number two, if you're going to drink, just drink responsibly. Tennessee State Bar requires that we sit you down, take the axes away, stop letting you throw if we see any sign hit indication that you're intoxicated. Okay. After the safety training, okay. Jeff Coat demonstrated okay. how to throw the axe. Okay. We're going to take a nice big step. When you take that step, lean into it a little bit. Okay. Do a little weight transfer. As soon as your foot hits the ground, you're clear to come down straight over the top. Okay. 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 Just like I said, bring it, bring it back, just take a step, give it a little. Nice. Good. That was so fast. Awesome. That wasn't bad. All you did with that is you just kind of pushed it a little bit. Okay. So instead of it kind of flying and rotating, it rotated, but it just kind of tumbled a little bit. Okay. So you might have pushed it like a little more sensual basketball. Okay. Okay. Although it took quite a few tries. Yeah, good. Ten times better. Good. I finally got my first hit, and after that, I was excited to keep going. Oh, yeah! I'm getting better! That was the best one yet. After a lot of failure and a couple of solid hits, I was satisfied with my time at Flying Axes. To try your hand at axe throwing, visit flyingaxes.com to book a time slot. Right there. I saw, oh, I saw that. Yes. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yes. For VNN, I'm Abigail Bowen.